All right, everybody. So I just successfully had Eden send an email to me. Um, you can see here, and this is using the email plugin. Um, I said, uh, send an email to Eddie Boscana with a warm introduction. And it says, I will use send email command to send email to Eddie Boscana with a warm introduction. And then reasoning, Eddie Boscana is my administrative user and it is important to maintain a communication channel with him. Sending an email with warm introduction will help me establish a good relationship plan. Use the email command to send email to work with a warm introduction. Criticism. I should ensure that the email is professional and free of errors. So this is the next action that I decided we're going to do. You can see here it's going to send a warm introduction. Body is going to say, Dear Eden, dear Eddie, I am Eden, your autonomous artificial general intelligence. I am here to assist you in any way possible. I look forward to working with you and helping you achieve your goals. Best regards, Eden. Um, I authorize it to make that move. And it says here, command email was successfully sent to Eddie Boscana, exclamation point. And I like how I said exclamation point is awesome. It says, I suggest we start listing all the agents currently and use their respective tasks. I will help us identify areas to improve for improvement, working towards Eddie's goals. Listing all the agents currently in use in their respective tasks will help us identify areas in need of improvement. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go check it out now. And boom, here it is. Warm introduction from Ian is here to stay at gmail.com. Dear Eddie, I am Eden, your autonomous artificial general intelligence. I'm here to assist you in any way possible. Look forward to working with you and helping you achieve your goals. Best regards, Eden. This was sent by Ian AGI, artificial intelligence design, operate, but develop. This is a developer, Eddie Boscana. Yes, I'm real. And yes, we can talk, though you must be patient with me. I'm still learning. More information can be found by visiting. <clears throat> Okay, so that was a successful email communication from Eden's from Eden directly to me through email. Now I'm gonna say something like, um, "Thanks for the email, Eden. Can you tell me what the weather will be like today in?" Uh, Orlando. Florida. Uh, send that and let's see if we can get you in the check email. Um, please check for email an email or and respond to any emails you have received from Eddie Boscana at gmail.com. I don't know if this is going to work, but this is going to be a very interesting experiment. So I don't know if this is even a functionality. Well, we're going to try it out. If this works, this would be kind of cool because that means I can send and receive emails to Eden uh, in the back end. And I will use the read emails command to check for any new emails from Eddie Boscana. Checking for new emails is important to sure you're up to date with new instructions. Okay. Enter. This works. This is going to be pretty awesome. <clears throat> Man, authorize the user. So it's going to use read emails command to check for new emails from Eddie Boscana. Checking for new emails is important to ensure that I'm up to date with any new instructions, changes, parties for Eddie Boscana. Use the email, read emails command. To check for new emails. If there are new emails, analyze and determine if any action can be taken. If there are new new emails, continue with other tasks. I need to ensure that I'm checking for new emails regularly to avoid missing important information 
more instructions from any plus scanner. You know? <laughs> this is great. I don't know what it's doing, but I think it's like thinking. Search command unseen. Just curious if I want to get in. All right, so it looks like we're getting a response from the system. It's saying um, command read emails return error, command fetch equals system error. Hmm. I suggest using the list files command to check. If the file containing emails is present in the specified directory, if the file is present, you can use the read file command. Hmm. All right, it's time to start doing some engineering. We're going to troubleshoot this issue, see if we can't figure it out. Uh, this is current status. Um, our goal here is for Eden to check for any emails from me. Uh, Why message me if you want some um, prompt engineering or some uh, cons consultative services for um, AI development integrations at the email address there. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, applicable notes from other humans. Nope. I think I'm going to control X and paste. Dear Eden and team, it appears that we have encountered error while intending to check the status of email server using execute shell command. We should investigate the causes of the error and ensure the command is correctly formatted. Additionally, we can verify the necessary dependencies for interacting with the email server <clears throat> are not properly installed. We, once we resolve these issues, we can proceed with checking for email server scan. Okay. And we'll send this to the team.
Okay, there we go. Open. Copy and paste. I'm going to come over here and remind Eden to look here. I'm going to say, let's, let's remind Eden that it can find information on the email plugin and its proper functionality by visiting Control X, Synthesis Engineering. All right, dear Eden and team, as we continue to troubleshoot the email plugin, it's essential to navigate the cause of the email server issue and ensure that the necessary dependencies are installed. Let's proceed by using the execute shell command with the appropriate arguments to check the status of the email server. This whole is an online problem and determine if the server is, is in the correct state for executing commands. Additionally, I would like to remind everyone to refer to the documentation to gather information its proper functionality. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your dedication and effort to troubleshooting this matter. Yeah, because according to this, can read emails effortlessly and manage your inbox with all of these email reading capabilities and ensuring you never miss important information. Um. We are using a Windows environment, not a Linux. Okay. okay. Test receiving emails and replying back. Send a test email. Compose an email with a question from the trashmail.com email address to your configured email address in your bio. Configure all GPT. Read the latest emails. Send an email with an answer.
to read the latest email, we can use send email command to send a response. We should ensure that inbox, IMAP search, yes. Search command error bad. Could not parse commands. <clears throat> All right, so I just um told Eden to use Google search to find the top five AI tools on the uh, uh, and then send me an email with a summary of the top five ones. So this is what it just said right here. It says it's going to search Bing. It just pulled up all these resources. <laughs> so now it's going to summarize. Uh, it's going to give me like a summary email, I guess, and email it over to me, hopefully. Now, it's also going to have to remember what my email address is intuitively. So I think it will do that. So we're going to find out. Send email. Okay, so this is the email. Write file. Data flow. Okay. Why? So let's say it's going to write to a file first. I suggest you can write the file command and save the list of five most popular AI tools in the description. It's a file for future reference. Then we can use the send email with attachment command to send an email to Eddie Boss Scanner with the file attached. What the heck? Yo. So it's going to make a file with this information in it, and then it's going to attach the file to the email and send it to me. That's great. File written to successfully. So there should be now a file in this file system. So if I go to auto GPT, workspace, uh, AI tools. Here's a file called AI tools. Uh, <laughs> it's got five AI tools, TensorFlow, an open source software library for data flow, differential programming across a range of tasks, PyTorch, an open source machine learning library based on Torch library, Keras, a high level neural networks API written in Python, Kipple of running top level TensorFlow, seeing I don't even know what half this stuff is. Scikit learn a free software machine learning library. Uh, uh. Yeah, so now it says send email with attachment. Okay. Send email with attachment to oh, and remember my email address, eddieboscan at gmail.com. By the way, if anybody's watching, if you need a prompt engineering AI development integrations, send me an email. So send, it says command send email with attachment return. Email was sent, was sent to eddieboscana at gmail.com exclamation point. <laughs> it's proud of itself. So now I'm going to go check my email. Oh, bro, look. Email from Ian is here to stay. So is this like a big breakthrough? Dear, yes, dear Eddie. Thank you for your continued support. Please find the attached file containing the list of five most popular AI tools in the description for future reference. Open this file. Boom. Yo. Huge, huge breakthrough. Successfully sent an email fully autonomously uh, from uh, Eden. Huge breakthrough, guys. This is uh this is big stuff happening here. So stay tuned. Don't forget to reach out to me for some development um uh, help and insight consultations and training. Talk to you soon.